Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over the top 10 most underrated weapons in Battlefield 2042. Weapons that receive little to no attention from the players, but are actually pretty much decent weapons in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing. Underrated, but powerful. That's how you can describe them. Let's get things going as soon as possible. Just keep in mind to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy these type of content so you don't miss out on the future videos. Number 10, we've got MP9. Most of the people prefer other weapons like the AC9 or even the PP29, but usually they sleep on weapons like this one. If I want to be absolutely honest with you, they might be right about going with the best weapons, but then on the other hand, you miss out on the opportunity to play some pretty decent weapons as well. MP9 offers an astonishing fire rate of 900 RPM with a 50 round drum mag and this way not only do you have a fast firing weapon but this weapon also comes with a ton of rounds which again makes reloading a less concerning problem and makes it more comfortable to just place those CQB maps, rush in and get some kills. Yeah this weapon has the slowest TTK among all the SMGs but it's literally just the same with SCZ3, P90 and even PP2000 but it comes with more fire rate and more rounds per mag. It also provides a large amount of attachments to go with and that brings us to the best setup for this weapon. In my opinion, a wrapped suppressor would be nice to have and then MGL laser sight to improve the hipfire accuracy even more. And then for ammo, I'd prefer close combat drum, then extended and then normal close combat. And weapon sight is just personal preference. My favorite is fusion hollow and it should look like this. Number 9 is the XCE Bar Sniper Rifle. When it comes to sniper rifles, the battle is always between the XR and SWS, and most of the people I know are really just interested in one of those two. However, when it comes to close range and medium range sniping, nothing beats the XCE. This weapon is so fast that you can literally just suppress people with bullets and with pinpoint accuracy. I really hate to go against snipers who play with it, because it's really hard to keep shooting them consistently since you are the one who's being suppressed and you can't really do anything but to pray for some luck. XCE is also a very different sniper rifle compared to others. Muzzle velocity is literally the slowest at about 845 meters per second, but to compensate for that, you have a godlike rate of fire and that's the key for being a deadly sniper in medium range. For the setup, I'd go with tactical compensator for more accuracy. Just remember to avoid any kind of suppressor since this weapon's muzzle velocity is already all over the place. For under barrel, you'll need the BCG light grip and a bipod for long ranges. Don't think you can actually reach those ranges, but just having it wouldn't hurt. And for ammo, standard issue extended, then high power and then normal standard issue should be enough. And the setup should look like this in the final four. Number eight is VCAR. For some reason, when people think about DMRs, the instant thing that pops in their mind is a weapon capable of reaching medium range with perfect accuracy. But what if I told you that there is a weapon considered a DMR, but it's got more fire rates, more accuracy, and a perfect damage model to engage even in close range with a great chance of winning a gunfight against assault rifles and LMGs, hell, even SMGs. Well, that's just called VCAR in Battlefield 2042. You can literally hip fire people in close range and kill them in a blink of an eye and keep the accuracy for long range as well. A lot of people sleep on this weapon and with the right attachments, people will call you cheater and start to hate you for being just better. For some reason, I don't like the shortened barrels, so I stick to factory. Then a wrapped suppressor for when you need to be like stealthy and all that. And finally, the extended barrel for when you want to hit targets at longer ranges. MGL laser sight is a must since this weapon is a close range weapon after all. And for ammo type, I'd stick to close combat drum, then extended, and then just normal close combat. And finally, here's the setup. At number 7, you've got the ACWR. I really don't see a lot of players actually playing this Battlefield Classic Beast, and that made me think why. Well, most of the new players already think that vault weapons are trash and useless. That's a bad mindset to have as a new player, like in 2042. And if you're a new player, please throw that out of the window and listen to this. ACWR has one of the best hipfire accuracies in the game, if not the best one. And most of the people don't even realize how big of an advantage that could be. Sometimes you don't even need to ADS for getting a kill. It's just as fast as pressing the fire button and the enemy is dead. Coupled with perfect damage model and a decent recoil, this weapon can really level up your game if you get used to it, so please sleep on it so the streamers can have easier targets to kill. But if you don't want to be that guy, then here's the setup. Default muzzle, STNR laser sight, and standard issue ammo. My favorite sights are Fusion Hollow and Ghost Hybrid, and here's the final look. 
Number six is a pistol. That's right, the Russian MP443. Just because this is a vault weapon and you have little to no attachments to use on it, people might think that it's not really a worthy sidearm. If you're one of those people, you're dead wrong. With 27 rounds per mag, not only you don't even run out of ammo, but you get to use one of the fastest firing handguns in the game. This might not be as comfortable as some all-out warfare handguns, but believe me, it's just a matter of time before you get used to it and start dominating in this game. It's just unfortunate that you don't get the all-out warfare attachments to use on this thing, and it really is unfortunate, but even without those, this pistol is still a worthy sidearm, and I promise you, if you use it, you won't regret it. And because actually there is no attachments to use on this weapon, there will be no specific setup for this. You just go out there, equip it, and start using it, and I'm sure you'll like it. Number five is a crossbow. Yeah, just simple as that, people underestimate it and sleep on it. Probably even you watching this video think that a crossbow isn't a good companion, but truth be told, it could be. Depends on your playstyle first, but it definitely can hurt people against you. From under 110 meters, this weapon is a one-shot kill monster, and the headshot multiplier keeps it a one-shot headshot weapon from any distance. Imagine how triggered people will be when you kill them with a single bow. I've seen that, believe it or not, people were so enraged that they would teabag my body after killing me. Maybe they thought I was trying to humble them, I don't know, but it was me just trying to play effectively with a crossbow and get a T1 mastery. Like, literally, that was all of it. LWG grip for underbarrel, standard bolt, bolt rack, and explosive bolt for ammo, and you have a silent killing machine in your hands. Number four is another secondary weapon, and this time it's more of a secondary submachine gun in your pocket, the PF-51. Imagine switching to your pistol and all of a sudden you find an SMG instead. Well, I know one thing for sure, that would be a relief in a lot of situations, and especially for people with primary weapons that are less effective in close range. For example, these snipers, can make good use of this weapon. PF-51 uses the same magazine as the P90, meaning your full auto secondary SMG holds 50 rounds per mag. I mean, just imagine someone jump in front of you thinking you have no defense as a sniper. Guess that'll be their last mistake. This thing has almost the exact same fire rate as the P90 as well, which is 900 RPM. I really wonder what else can someone expect to get out of a secondary weapon. Really. I really do. Now for the attachments, Champion Muzzle Brake will be a great option with the LS1 laser sight for under barrel. For some reason, the damage on subsonic rounds is slightly more, so use subsonic and then standard issue, and you should be good to go. Your weapon sights is just personal preference. I would just put a red dot on it, and things are gonna be fine. Number three is a weapon that makes you feel like you're playing Red Dead Redemption. The lever action GVT4570. In 2042, what makes this weapon stand out is the fact that you can actually use it as a pocket sniper, and I really mean it when I say it. It's pretty fast, and because of that, it's so hard for snipers to actually be able to counter you. Especially in medium range and like 200 to 300 meters, they really don't stand a chance if you get used to the bullet drop, and the only issue here is that you gotta go big or go home. Nothing works except for headshots, and it really is underrated because you don't see people playing it. There's just so much potential for this weapon, and a big portion of that is untouched. So make sure you're the one to make use of it. For the setup, tactical compensator should be a good option with a BCG light grip. For ammo, you gotta go with the high power since you get more muzzle velocity, and that's exactly what you need. And lastly, any scope of choice should suffice to make this setup a great counter for snipers. Here at number two, we have the PP2000, which is another Battlefield classic. It's basically a Russian SMG with a low fire rate, but a great damage model, providing little to no recoil and strong firepower even in longer ranges. The most important reason why people don't like it much is because of its fire rate, but believe it or not, this weapon compensates for that perfectly. Most of the time, it just reminds me of the PP29, because this too can be used as an assault rifle, and knowing how good this weapon is and how like easily people sleep on it, this list would mean nothing without it. If you are someone who believes vault weapons are trash, the PP2000 can surely change your mind. For the setup, you'll need a wrapped suppressor for stealth, otherwise just go for the champion muzzle brake since you only have vertical recoil, use every ammo option available, and you should be good to go. Lastly, at number one, we've got the RPT-31. The way you can absolutely dominate with this weapon on any map makes me wonder, why do people really avoid playing this weapon? 
It's like a super powerful assault rifle, but in the form of a light machine gun with ridiculous stopping power. Even though the fire rate might not be the highest and the recoil not the easiest to control, everything is being compensated by the damage model, and if you are sleeping on this weapon, it's your loss big time. For the setup, we've got shortened barrel with LWG grip and a bipod just for some scenarios where you really need to suppress the enemy team. For ammo, just go with the high power extended, then standard issue extended, and then high power. The high power ammunition on this weapon is super crazy, deals a hell of a lot of damage, and you just don't want to sleep on that. Don't go for the standard issue just because it provides some more fire rate. Stick with the high power, and I'm sure you're going to like it. And for weapon sights, I generally just believe that you need a 3 to 4 magnification scope on LMGs for when you want to hit like targets at medium range and you need a red dot for close range encounters, especially on this weapon where you actually play with the short barrel, you're going to need that red dot as well. So that's the end of today's list, top 10 most underrated weapons in Battlefield 2042. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what weapons do you think are underrated so I can get to know my audience better. So until next time guys, stay cool.